Me outie everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 1. This is episode 6. Um we have a lot going on in this episode. Oh, oh, and as uh, you may have noticed, I have a new avatar. Hello. <laughs> I just realized we have no game audio. Wonderful start. I do this all the time. But to be fair, I did a stream before this. Anyway, yeah, I created this avatar in one day. <laughs> uh, I do have to give credit to Zexagor, who had done a fan art of me, and I really liked their style. So, the clothes slash face portion are very inspired and referenced from their art of me, and hands and stuff is by Asa Hinase. That's the hands and controller. Re-imagined for the current avatar. And then the legs was part of an old design. Um, by Eggy Boy. I don't know, I'm kind of just an amalgamation of different people who have worked on my model. Taking the bits and pieces I loved the most kind of thing. Um, overall design is me, I guess, but with the help of people. Anyway, just wanted to give that. Give that little shout outs to multiple people. I'll try to link each and every one of them in the description afterwards. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Took six and a half hours, <laughs> but it, it is done and I, I think it looks great. Um, in this episode, I, I missed something uh, last time. I failed to realize this town is bigger than it appears to be. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, this is it? Weird. Um, but first, I, with the upcoming readings, I need to restock more, I believe. So, we have potions, we have antidotes. We're gonna need more tents. Because towns are gonna be more limited. I'm just gonna have 15. I'm hoping that's enough. That way we have ways to save, get back some magic, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, the town actually extends over here, which is weird, but... This is where we get the next piece of... Uh... Story. Look at these guys! <laughs> Friends! The fire fiend burns everything in its path. The earth fiend rots the earth. The four fiends scheme to gain control of all worlds in both past and future. The wind fiend appeared 400 years ago, and the water fiend 200 years ago. Together they destroyed the northern civilization. At the source of each elemental force is an altar. The fiends have gone there. Defeat them and place the crystal there. The crystal will regain its brilliance. Earth, fire, water, and wind. These are the four forces that compose our world. But everything changed as the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> uh, earth, fire, water, and wind. The four crystals shine with the power of each element. But the four fiends of chaos are attempting to seize those elemental forces. We, the twelve sages, came to this land guided by the stores and er, stores, the stars and prophecies. <laughs> Restore the light of all four crystals and return here. Only then can the mystery shrouding the disasters be unfolded. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, light warriors. Only you can do this. The fire fiend has long slept within Mount Gulg, a volcano west of this town, but now awakens 200 years before prophecy foretold. Destroy it before it destroys everything else. Well done, light warriors. You've defeated the Earth Fiend and restored the Crystal's light. But by doing so, you have roused the Fire Fiend from its slumber. 
200 years before its prophesied awakening. Take this canoe. Go to Mount Gulg and stop the destruction. Oh, I thought the blue one was going to give me the item. <laughs> okay. Weird. But yeah, we got a canoe, which lets us uh, go in the lighter waters, which are the rivers. Because our ship would not fit. It would be too... go too deep. I am Lucan, a prophet. Now legend and prophecy shall come to pass, and we shall bear witness to it. Our path is set. Weird. When did that, that random one give it to me? Not the blue one. Huh. Also, I hope my mic sounds okay. I did some things. I uh, also relocated it so it's now closer to me. Um, and I turned it the correct way because it was not turned the correct way before. <laughs> And I was wondering why some of my audio would cut out sometimes. Oh. But, yeah. I'm stupid. Okay. So we need to hike back to our ship, which I remember is to the right. Oh wait, we can just row across the lake. I'm a fool. But I guess I would probably run into the things. But look! <laughs> we get a little boat! I don't like how heavy those hit. Um... Moving northeast along the coast to find your ship at the port you left. Right. <laughs> One second. Okay, we found our ship. Okay, head north, following the coast on your left. Until we reach a peninsula of the continent. Okay, wait. Does it want me to go into this port? You can head south on the other side of the peninsula to find a port, which is the last one available for the light wars to stop with supplies. Go into the north where no ports exist. The ship can still land on the mouth of a river by disparking on a canoe. If you're ready, it's time to move west. Or just to the north. Okay. So we could go here, but we will not. I don't know why I bothered fighting. <laughs> I guess just because I couldn't run. Okay, so supposedly this right here is the Power Peninsula. Is this where we went before and it was just Hill Gigas and I didn't find the Frost Wolves? I don't know. 
Um... Not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Also, this one kind of looks like a bird. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it definitely... It looks interesting. Um... I am a little confused. How do you move west until you are just to the north of the Temple of Fiends? Does it mean Temple of Chaos? I've noticed that I'm using a different walkthrough and it has different names for things. I think it means Temple of Chaos. <laughs> Which is here. Um... But it wants us to be just in the north. Once you're there, head north until you hit some land. So about here. All right, the font they use is really hard for me to read for some reason. Um, you will then go north along the western coast of this landmass, and you will see, soon see a castle to the east surrounded by marsh. This is your goal. Continue north along the coast until you find a small river leading inland. Which is where you will disembark from your ship as you canoe south on the river. So basically we hit this and we hug it until we're able to start going in. Okay. More privateers. No real concern to us. I'm not sure. Yes, I can. Well, there's a thing there. It upsets me I can only disembark at, um, at ports. Why can't I just... Just, just drop the anchor and rowboat in on my little canoe. Here? I assume so, right? Uh, castle to the east, run by marsh, to go up to the you find a small river leading inland. Yes. Cool. Oh, I didn't need to row into this, like, middle area. Oh, wow. Those are new. Uh. <laughs> what an entourage. Okay, uh. Ochu, Hydra, Piranha, and Crocodile. Oh god, the Ochu's in this one. The, the eye on them is <laughs> something. Ah, <sighs> got poisoned too. Preserve strength. Um... I hope this way. I hope. Hi, Sphinx. Welcome back. It's your boy, Sphinx. Back at it again with being annoying. Is 
So the other walkthrough I was going to use was going to take us to a volcano. Um, this one has us go here first, then an ice cave, and then the volcano, so... <laughs> Interesting that different walkthroughs had a different order of things I should do. Yeah, I wonder what version they're playing, because they call it Castle of Ordeals, not uh, Citadel of Trials. Either way, most things fit, just some things are called something different. Anyway. So thou hast the crown required to test thy courage here. Then I do grant thee entry to the trials. Sit upon the throne to open the way of true courage dwells within thee. Thou wilt find proof of it here. Okay, hold on two seconds. <laughs> oh, tent is the little one. I should have bought cottages. Oh, I'm stupid. Ah. Uh, I thought tents were stored in P. I guess I should have. That should have been obvious. Okay. I have a small brain. I'm gonna save on another one, just in case I was actually stupid. I will have to return to a town. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Weird. Oh, goodbye! <laughs> Alright. So this is one of those things where, like, it's trial and error of going through, figuring out which of these pillars I'm supposed to touch. Uh, but obviously I have a walkthrough, so that's not really a big deal. <laughs> Alright. First one only has one. Touch. Um... Same thing here. Uh, let's see. Third one has to choose the bottom. Fourth one has one choice, which leads to the fifth room. That has two. Choose the bottom. Six is the long hall, leading down to one pillar. Oh. Medusa, no thanks. Good. Bye. Pass. <laughs> uh, followed by room seven where the right pillar is the one to advance. Here you'll... Here, you'll need to move right into the room you see and step forward. Just to reflect. Got it. Play golems. <laughs> and there are things you said you'll face one or two of these guys. Guide, I got, I got, I got three. <laughs> uh, I damaged that. They're able to use haste. That's interesting. No real weak points. So attack them. Take him down. Okay. Noted. They poison? They're made of clay! How, how do they poison? What? The hell? Very strange.
Wait, why am I doing that? I have 99 potions. I need to do a 100% heal. Found gauntlet, a treasure chest. Cool. So it says here they're called Zeus gauntlets in the other one. Um, apparently it can be used as an item as well. Um, let's check it out first. Where is it? Eh? I'm confused. Spider slash knight, red wizard, or ninja. Oh, I see. We need to wait till class change to use it. But see, it uses it can use bolt too if you just use it as an item. I assume it's multi-use. <laughs> Which is interesting. But we can't use it yet, sadly. Soon though. Soon though. Um, I believe after Ice Cavern, maybe? I don't know. However, it doesn't matter. Take path on the left. I love Necrotar. You don't want to let me leave? Well, then you get bumped. I'm gonna pass on the Medusas though. No, no, no. Let's let's not. I said no. Ooh, they're trying so hard. Nope, they got one. Fate is cursed to, to sit there forever. Oh, <gasps> speaking of fate, believe it or not, I've known this fella online for many, many an eon. And they randomly showed up at my uh, in my house the other day, <laughs> which sounds kind of creepy to say it that way. But um, with their new job, they were passing through New York, and I woke up to hear them chatting with our, our mutual friend and fellow monk Spomf. And I was like, "Wait, I know that voice!" And I step out, and I'm like, "No fucking way! That's the fella." was crazy, so we were just chilling, playing some Catan in a, another board game called Fire Tower. Which they won twice. Almost won the second Catan game. I won none of them. I... I, <laughs> I lost. But that's okay. I may not always be good at board games, but I love playing them. I'm a good sport. I can lose. It's fine. Unicorn Nightmare. Get it? Cause 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 mare is a horse. <laughs> that is stupid. We only have 200 health. We should just be able to I always miss. It's fine. I wasn't really doing much damage. They have strong defense. Hmm. Eight! 
and then 159. Why did the red mage do eight? And that did eight. What are these hits? They're, they're so all over the place. Okay. Healing staff. Okay. So I think this is another one of those things that... I can use that one. See, it has a heal effect. So I wouldn't have to, uh... Use magic for, for that. And it heals everyone. Um... Obviously it does less, though. I saw that I can switch items mid-fight, though, but does that use up my entire turn? That I don't know. I don't have to have it, though, right? I can just use it as a weapon while it's in my, my inventory. I would assume it's not one use, that would be ridiculous. Do we need to fight these again? I feel like we can just leave. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't use it here, but I think I can use it in battle. Huh. Well, hello! I get a little too button happy and I scroll up way too far. Oh, no, we're sleeping and people are honking outside aggressively. Walloping on my red mage here. Steel gloves, ice brand, and a ruby armlet. Oh, ice brand is better than my mithril sword. Hell yeah. I think I'll take that. That does bring up evasion. Interesting. By a lot. <sighs> That's tough. I kind of might. So I think it's better, typically, for things to miss me than to actually get a hit on me. And that would mean more magic things would miss as well. It drops my defense quite a bit, though. But even then, my defense will still be higher than everyone else's. I know it's a weird choice, but I, th I think it's better. I 
I don't know. That's how I feel anyway. Um. Yeah. Mind Flare. Oh, I don't think I can run from these. Yes, I can. But I thought I couldn't run from the Pisco Demons. Why would they be different? I like the one box that's already opened. No. New. No. <laughs> new, 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 new. I pass. Hard pass. A cottage. Okay. We take those. King mummy. Damn, that was a chunk. Rakshasa. What are those? Weird. Odd looking. Rakshasa is from Hindu mythology. It's a type of demon or goblin that have the power to change their shape at will and appear as animals, monsters, or in the case of the beautiful demon, or of the female demons, as beautiful women. I see. Interesting. Obtained rat's tail. Thanks? Couldn't I just... Just got it from any other rat around. What is the significance of this specific tale? Dragon zombie. Sick. All right, these we have to fight. Um. Okay. I could inflict one fire three if I wanted to. Do I? I'm gonna do it. See how much HP? Oh, mouse. Oh, they didn't have that much HP to be doing this. <laughs> was cool though. fight them over and over. Slide. I think they have more HP in whatever version I'm playing. And they paralyze. They give 1998 gil though. It's not too bad. How much HP or XP were they giving? One second. Okay, I do think I'm gonna fight them a couple 
of times here. At least while I have fire and uh Daya. Interesting, we only got uh, one dragon zombie this time, though. It means less HP and stuff. Obviously. Still gonna do it. We are all level 16 now. I could have probably stayed longer. Maybe I should have, but it's good enough. I did at one point run into mind flayers that just straight up have this attack called mind blast and it paralyzes your entire party. And then they just have attacks that can one hit KO you. So it's like, ugh. I don't know, it's dumb. Alright, so we are going to head back to Crescent Lake to restock supplies and sleep at an inn. And then, uh, I believe, head towards Ice Cave? Yeah. An Ice Cave. So I'll see you guys back then when I'm ready. Okay, we are back in town. Oh my god, cottages are 3k. I see. I should definitely have more though. Jesus. They are pricey. Okay, quick rest at the inn, and then we'll be having heading to Ice Cave. I don't know if I can fit all this in into this episode. Maybe. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. If the episode's a little longer, it's a little longer, you know? It's fine. Okay. Question is, how do I get there? On the walkthrough, it makes it sound like they parked somewhere else. Weird. Oh, I think what they did is park, like, here. At one of the rivers. Okay, um... Off the river. Okay, I think I know where they want me to go. Let's try.
I'm very nervous for this upcoming segment. Okay, so they want me to park here. Yep. Past the port, enter the natural harbor way. Drop anchor on the mouth of a river. Southwest of the airport. Be ready to fight river monsters. Follow the stream till the branch appears and take the northwest route. Okay. Ah, uh, the Ocho is the one that's been poisoning. That makes sense. It's a good thing we have 99 antidotes. <laughs> Northwest. That doesn't go anywhere. East, oh, east past the fort. So then, why did I go this way, not just... Confusion. These instructions don't make any sense. Because it said, follow the stream till the branch appears. Take the northwest route, follow the current path, turning east, following an east past, east past the fork leading up. Head south. Okay. I'm just gonna. Am I supposed to be up there? I don't know. I don't know. What's this weird tiny piece of land? This is weird. I'm gonna get lost up in this river. That way it led to some dry land, but I don't know if that dry land goes anywhere. This feels right for some reason. Neo Cho. Whoa. He purple. Letting us run. Okay. I worry about the fate of fate. Ow. for me too. Please be right. Yes, okay. One ogre. Let's go. Yeah. 
I used one cure three, but hopefully that won't hurt us to miss. Alright, ice cave. This probably is gonna push my episode a little long, but it's fine. It's fine. Um Right from the entrance along the top wall, cutting down when the passage opens up below. That's a lot of problems. No, no, I'm good. Good, thank you. Thank you. I would like to, to, to not that. Yes. Spectres! Here to give us a minty, fresh breath. They may be dead, but their breath isn't. Alright, down some stairs. B2. Um... Choices party will need to go left and then down to find the stairs, or down and then left. Find the stairs. Wait to walk. Uh. Your choice is down and then left, or or left and then down. <laughs> Walk through. Oh, no, 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 not these. These are the ones that fully paralyzed and then one shot it killed my party. I would like to go now. Oh, no. Like, why did the, the devs think these guys were a good idea? And, like, did they fight against them? Did they see how unfair it was? I despise it. I understand enemies being difficult, but this is literally unfair. No, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Like, it's not a challenge, it's just an inconvenience. I want them to kill me right now. <laughs> Thank you. We'll just go back to our memo save, I guess. That's so evil. <sighs> Like, it's fake difficulty, is what it is. <laughs> Regular Pesco Demons. You missed. Good job. Three heals. Hmm, I like those. Might as well. I 
think I'm going to be semi safe scumming here. Just because my chance of being one. Uh, one shotted, basically. I don't know what to call it. The, the mind flares. In case I get mind flayed. Yep. I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> Let me go. I'm speed running. Ooh, we got quite the mix here. Please. Got this. Nope. Fuck. These enemies are so scary. I was gonna be upset if they uh, paralyzed my white mage there. Killed less than I needed it to. Oh no. Please don't die. Uh oh. I have the life too. This is one of those situations, uh, I would like to memo load, thank you. You know what? Let's just search for something that kills us again. <laughs> a white dragon! A blue eyes white dragon! Perfect! Thank you. One more. That looks cool though. Thanks. Appreciate it. Back some you get. We will get to B3, I believe. Stop! Stop! You can stop now. <laughs> the stairs are so close.
They're so relentless, it's insane. Wasted that on one HP. How were there not like high potions and stuff? They're just like, no, you only get regular potions. 20 or 30 HP. Yep. That will that'll be good. I only got one more life left in me. Oof, at least B3 was easy. We meet again. I try to run, I lose. I try to fight, I lose. <laughs> no, you don't even have to move Mind Blast. Just, just one shot me, please. Please, I beg. Lost. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I think that that asks for another save. <laughs> This is brutal. Me doing this. Despise, loathe. The game is fun and fair. The game is fun and fair.
We almost made it to a door. We have like three major fights coming up. Which is why I'm trying to run from everything. But the game says no. At this point I, I want to memo to load. Thank you. Oh no, they're only doing one damage to me. There you go. Moa. <laughs> it's sad when you wish for death in a video game. It's like, please. Please end it. So, oops, I forgot I scrolled down. Room to walk around the edge of until you find a door. Pass through. I'm not even chanting running. It's impossible. Can someone please hit it so I don't waste Daya? Thank you. <laughs> Spawn for the Chad. Treasure chest on the right seems important. Dark wizard. Hey, they kind of look like Astos. Fire three. Okay. okay. Did like nothing for healing. Dead. Oh, uh, oh, uh. Oh, uh. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna null- f I have null fire, right? I hope. Okay, this time there's only two. Oh, that's cool. I don't have null fire. I have null ice. I don't know if they're weak to magic.
Not really. This is oh my god, the one, one HP, hang on. Kill it, please. Oh, fuck you. Yikes. Drink. Drink. <laughs> Memo save. It was just a shirt. It... Like a like a shirt. I don't know if I memo saved. Hold on, can I get into a fight and die real quick? More heavy hitters. This is gonna be a weird episode. <laughs> Oops. That'll do. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're not going to that one. one, however, gives you a flame sword. Gimme. Okay. Uh, now step into a hole to fall to the floor below. Battle with a mix of undead enemies as numerous as nine.
Okay, so... Then past the door to go down where a lighter gray floor leads left. You mean the one with all the spikies? Removes one HP per step. To the room you find to get into another place. Get me out of here! Please! Please? This game's cool. Well, time to die again. So, so poison just kills. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Good job, team. Good job, team. Okay. Ice armor! Only you can wear it. Getting into another fight when I step over to the left. No. Okay. So. Oops. Didn't get no lights up. Ow. Watch this be useless. Sigh. I thought I would get that up B before Ice Storm. Hello? Thank you. Ice Gigas and Winter Wolves. I assume those are the Ice Wolves I was looking for before. They also have Ice Storm, but it's a different animation. Less strong, I guess.
I'm running out of potions. Okay. On this one? Return to the main path, head down over the damaging floor to go down the right path, and then past the two branches. Wait. I said right, you lied. Blood bones. <laughs> Not the bone zone. The bone bograte bog brigade. I can't speak. I wanna make sure I go the right way here. Down the damaging floor, go down the right path. Then past the two branches to go through a narrow opening in the rock. This right here. Take the left fork find a room with six treasure chests. That's a noper. Thank you. Good job, team. Messed him up real good. Okie dokie. We will take that. Money. 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 God damn. That was nice. We have 101k right now. Not too shabby. Remora? Ooh. Can I pass? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go through the right fork, down that path, to a stairway leading up. No. No, 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 no. I do not like getting stoned. I'm sorry. It's it's not my... It's not for me. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... Um. 10,000, Gil. Okay. Okay, head right and down. We don't like the Eldritch Wizards.
Pink bag. Money. Ice shield. Okay. Alright, so now we should hop down here. Leap down the hole that you're standing near to fall to the floor below. Carefully walk toward... Okay. There's a fight right here. I know I just memo saved, but again. Right here. Ooh, look at that guy! <laughs> he's scary! Oh, apparently he's big on one-hit kills. Oh boy, my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Daya works on him. It says he just has a weak defense, so we'll go for that. Punch him in the eye! Oh, okay. Get one hit. Happy. <laughs> we found the lovey stone. Let's freaking go. Oh, now we have to find our way out of the cave. <sighs> Happy. Alright, if I don't find anything else on the way out, um, I'll see you guys at the end. Alright everyone, I found the way out. Um, I am going to say we call it good right here, because next episode something something amazing happens that will make our game so much easier and i'm i'm super excited all right until next time thank you all for watching bye, -bye.